tune in. Solips was definitely uh, a mark for me. It's like, oh, well, it was 99 and now in 2019, so it is 20 years. And I think one of the reasons why uh, festivals can be such transformational opportunities is because you have this conglomeration of people coming from all sides of life. You have a certain values, culture, traditions, and you come to a place which maybe throws all those values when this transformation happens, that you feel like you are living in a different kind of perspective, in a different reality, and it feels almost like it's magical. I mean, even as Solips, I had this experience, the same experience, like as if it's magic, because all of a sudden, certain circumstances that you saw in a certain light, in a certain way, then you start seeing them in a different way, and all of a sudden, everything transforms around it, and you feel, wow, it's just like magic. <laughs> Hello, welcome. This is the fire space. We have been here for seven years at Ozora Festival and take care of the fire spinners and the fire artists who are performing at the main stage and the Dragon Nest every day. Well, the fire space is mostly about not taking uh, about the fire spinners and the artists, but also to share the knowledge about spinning. This is our so-called dipping station. Put it inside the oil.
Ja. Pozora! Não, foi bem, não. Ei, caralho, Max. Portugal. Germany, Belarus. Montenegro. Lyon. Rennes. I'm from Russia, Moscow. From India. Brazil. England. Hungary. France. Germany. I'm from Mexico. Welcome to Osora. See there. Én átszültem a parti kultúra születését, tehát én az ötödik gyerekem szoptatásából kerültem oda, úgyhogy kimaradt tíz év, tehát hogy én nem tudtam, hogy ilyen van. Tehát én konkrétan sokkot kaptam. <gül> Tehát a Detektív műhelyben olyan 40 ember dolgozik most, és különben meg a Szozorai Installációs Brigád, az egy olyan 30 fős, fiatal, önkéntes. Különben pedig ez egy, ez egy terápiás módszertan. Ilyen dolgozunk megváltozott munkaképesség és fogyatékkal élő emberekkel, tehát hogy egy csomó mindent tanít, leginkább az a metafora van a háta mögött, hogy kapcsolatok és a kapcsolatok minősége. Hát az van, hogy az előző évnek ugye adott volt, vagy 30 ezer négyzetméternyi adott színű vonala, amit vissza tudtunk bontani az előző évi installációból. Kimostuk, megszállítottuk, lefeleztük a szálakat, és akkor utána jön a kikísérletezett kézi munka algoritmus. És miután ilyen buctok évforduló volt, ezért most az egyszer visszanyúltunk egy ilyen kvázi népművészeti motívumhoz, az afrikai virág az, amit a hippikor kapott föl, és máig tart. Azt gondoltuk, hogy na, akkor lesz egy ilyen romantikus vonulat, úgyhogy az egész előző évi összes anyagot, azt belehorgoltuk, 521 darab ilyen ekkora átmérőjű csipkevirágba. Tehát június 15-én leköltözünk, az egyik csapat összerakja a kézi munkát, a másik ledezik, a harmadik az sodronyoz, meg pakolja föl az egészet, a Timot közben olvassa a tervet, és így mondja, hogy <gül> honnan, hova, mi, merre, és elkezdjük két cserépikerrel, és a végén már öttel fejeztük be. Az orán egyetlen egy anyagot használunk az elejétől fogva, ezt úgy hívják, hogy organza, és azért jó anyag erre, mert hogy egy négyzetméter organza, az két és fél gram körül van. Tehát, hogy az egész nagy színpadot én elbírom egyedül. <gül> De csak egy kamionnal tudjuk hazahozni, de akkor is elbírom. Az a vízión van, az ilyen dolgok azok, amik a korunk valóságos rituáléi. 
tudom, hogy hány ember mennyi jó energiát, meg alkotó erőt tesz ebbe bele, de annak a több ezerszerese jelenik ott meg. Ami már nem az inventoroknak a, a belerakott deleje, hanem, hanem mindez, ami, ami vele ez összeolvad, és azáltal lesz azzá, ami. ridiculous exaggeration of all of our inner world, of all of life itself. It is the highest highs and the lowest lows and everything in between. Oh, it's always a fantastic playground. That's what happens. You enter this space and the rules of the outside world are kept aside for a while. There's a nice percentage of people that do it for fun to get loose, to have a nice party before they come back to life. And for others, it's a spiritual path. It's like a religion, just without any dogma. It's a nice mix of art and music and a nice mix of magic. The Artiban. The Helion, the Pyramid, the Chambok House, the Theater Acts, the Microcosmos, the Cooking Groove, and now the Herb Hut and the Fairy Garden. Of course, the Tea Shack, even the Dragon Nest in the beginning, were together under this term called Magic Garden. about creating something unique and special for Rosera. We try to invite artists who are really like uh, modern and experimental, you know, and uh, kind of famous and professional in the circus scene, and then we try to create uh, inspiring shows. For example, I saw my first fire juggle in my life. I was really believing that there's some kind of magic, and he has some skills that normal people don't have, and, and at the end it turned out there's just practice. And that's a great, great inspiration for everybody that we can do anything basically. It's just up to us what to do. My life has now a really important purpose and uh, to, I'm a circus director and this, this came from basically going to trans parties and sewing fire jugglers. So I try to give back this, this possibility to, to people here 
here in the circus tent we have workshops so basically anybody can try out uh, the different circus tools and acrobatics and aerial acrobatics and stuff like this with uh, professional teachers in a safe environment maybe get hooked on this circus feeling forever This is uh, a building which was, I guess, a barn, and uh, this is about the workshops. Fluidly, people can move and try out different things. Meanwhile, a concert or, or other studies are in the center of the arty barn. Some people come without any knowledge and just that they uh, start to use an equipment and they get close to a material, they can change and transform. And a lot of them, after this experience, go home and maybe on their own make deeper this knowledge. If you come to Azora and you spend a week, you transform in any ways. Of the just little thoughts, maybe a, a good experience with some bad experience. Azora definitely makes this circle or this uh, rotation quicker, so you go through quickly whatever you are in a phase. think differently of how it could be in an ideal world. No 
know dancing, but sometimes it, it happened. I saw this week many times people stood up and uh, they were grooving. The whole festival created out of the willingness and the desire to have a space like this. It's a little bit out of the downtown chaos. Uh, they just want to get into some quiet place and uh, they want to get a massage or a treatment. Maybe full time focusing outside, instead they can go inside and relax, sit. I think a festival like this, which is predominantly a music genre, but at the same time, if they are getting an offering like a yoga session, it kind of blends in very well because when you're listening to music, you're kind of be becoming more aware and open. And when you're practicing yoga as well, it is working on not just your body, but also working on your mind and also working on your breath. Okay, up to three, one, two, three, make the sound by your hands and feet. Ah! Thing, then it's the values of the artists and the festival, you know, like what we are sharing together. And at Pozora, I think one of the strengths is people are not just bystanders they're coming to watch. You know, my feeling is the uh, crowd is uh, part of the whole thing, you know, they're active. It's an interactive um, thing, and that's uh, something I can feel. Personally, to me, the Ozora. Transformation is something like uh, if I think about my ordinary life, I have to work, organize and organize and organize and organize and organize and organize my whole life. And suddenly you come to a festival like Ozora, suddenly you enter a space where I can let go of things. And this is a transformation to me yeah, because I can relax here yeah, and calm down.
Well, I'm Portuguese, I, I was born in Africa, so I have this uh, African culture in me and I thought of sharing that, so I'm doing uh, workshops on uh, African food here. I think it's the perfect place because if you think of your, of your home, it's in the kitchen that everything happens. We are cooking, we are talking, we are sharing. So whenever I come here to the kitchen uh, grove, I feel that, that vibe. I meet new people, everybody is either cooking, eating or dancing. So it's a, it's a very good place for people to meet and share experiences. You go to a museum for the paintings, you go to a concert for the music, and at this festival you get a little bit of everything. And I'm really glad that we're not forgetting about the nuance of appreciating some of these subtler, more complicated ideas and using the inspiration of a festival like this to chat about how to make the world a better place. cultural space but this cultural space kind of like it gives people a, a chance maybe to think about stuff but they so much bring their own content with them you know their, their aspirations and their attitudes and their concerns and that all gets brought in like when you're having a some sort of cultural event it all kind of like seems to come forward and it's nice to be able to make a dynamic with that I like Chambrook House because it allows people um, to listen to some of the elders of the tribe and some of the people who are young and are brave and are saying, you know, we need to have change or they're sharing knowledge and sharing some of the love they have for each other. Now, it may be a love of dance, it may be a love of rave. Me, I'm here partly to tell people the connection between the old days of the 60s when psychedelic music was also about trying to change society. It was also about trying to change who we are when we leave the festival afterwards.
condensation of my own imagination. Very weird, it's very thought provoking. It brings on a sense of balance and comfort and and it's this whole roller coaster. Yes, we are having this event place here, this small stage, to serve the people's needs who would like to move, dance, yoga, acro yoga, martial arts. They can learn or they can see behind a little bit of the movements how they can harmonize this connection with the others. All of the lessons are with this aim, to be much more harmoniously connected.
your consciousness has been moved into other planets. allows everything to arise, you know, all the uh, intellectual place, the art, the community, every material, now it's here, nature, water, mud, sunshine, heat, everything is here, so and this is a really important part that will be filled as a recreation area. always counting and uh, uh, singing in Hungarian so it's maybe the first thing I'm thinking about my grandfather he wanted to, to pass from the, 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 the classical art in a way to architectural one for him the main aim was to, to work with the urbanists and architects in order to, to, to bring art to everyone In a festival like Ozora, art is helping to define something that is much more like a culture. Like, uh, it's not just about music, it's not just about dancing. You know, it's a whole thing, it's, uh, it's much more complete. Uh, it's music, it's dance, it's art, it's many different things coming together. Like in every culture, you know, hip-hop culture and every culture, uh, art is also helping to defining uh, the style yeah. of a certain culture. So, yeah, I think that's the role. As a visually artist, I try to retranscribe some very profound experiences. So I take a brush and I start to paint. I 
Ozora and other kind of festivals give possibility to the artists to bring vision into reality and to show it to the large amount of people so the people can get inspired and can create more beautiful things. And that's, I think, the important role of those festivals because like this we can change our world. Transformational festivals are not just places where we totally know what we're doing, we totally know who we're with, but that it creates new experiences for us and new ways for us to think about ourselves and then also do it in the context of the people that we're around. I faced my fears 
Uh, it was not a pretty work to do. You cannot say, oh, it's all very beautiful. No, you have your dark side. You just have to integrate that and to know it. I call it, uh, you have to bring your bullies with you to the kindergarten to play with the good kids. So um, they don't hunt you anymore. So they can play around with each other. That's the way I calm my demons. Yeah, the fears are always here. And of course, when you try to do some experiences that can change your mind and you don't know which way your mind's gonna change. You just breathe, you learn how to breathe. So breathing, it helps you to ground yourself and whatever you are feeling at the moment, you just go. You go with consciousness, know what you're doing, aware of what you're feeling and you go with it. generations coming and for them I think often this must be a transformation uh, experience because they try something new, uh, they meet new people and they meet with our Psytrance culture. So yeah, we know that in our life we always uh, progress and change and transform, uh, trying hopefully to become better and uh, I think a festival can help for that as well. I want to be part of it in spreading these values which are again based on friendship, on love, on being good to each other and enjoy and dance together to the music we loved or to any music for that case.
The most important is all the love I take home. The people, the music, the energy. Experience and love, sharing. The freedom, connecting with people. The many smile. Love. Just to be free and open-minded and enjoy everything, you know. The experience to share, to celebrate with people from all over the world. There's so many amazing people in one place. It's my first time here, but I come back home with uh, all of love. I'm not afraid of